Hello, golfers. Welcome to the Jess Frank Golf Academy YouTube channel. I'm Jess Frank, PJ Golf Professional. Been teaching over 20 years. Here's three ways for you to hit the driver more effectively, more efficiently. Maybe even put a little draw on the ball using the stack and tilt system. So this is going to be really, really fun. Really, really good. So the first thing that I normally see with people in the driver and what's really hurting them is that as they swing the golf club, their arms come apart, their shoulders stay level and their head moves forward. So we got to fix that. That's got to change because the only way that you can swing is across the ball to the left and the face is open and you're cutting across. It's kind of a glancing blow or you could pull it left with the face shuts. So what do we do with that? Is that the first thing I want to do is make a small swing. So first of all, your grip, you know, check your grip, check your setup. That's good. Okay, what you want to do is you're going to take the left arm parallel to the ground and then you're going to go through the ball, but you can see, see how my right shoulder is tilting underneath my chin. Okay, it goes under my chin. As my shoulder, as my swing goes through, you can see my, my head is over my right knee. Okay, so there I am at address, there I am at impact. So the head does move back slightly when you're hitting a driver. That's a key in what the, some of the greatest players in the world do as they swing back down. They're extending, but their head goes slightly backwards. It's almost like a counterbalance. And then that club, that club really whips through. And so if you do that, I'm going to do it towards the camera. Okay. You can see here where that face is closed to the arc. Okay, you can see the toe is close the arc. This would be open to the arc. And so I see this a lot in players. The, the face is open, looking skyward, and their arm and their lead arm is pulling in with the wrist cup. And so, and so in stack and tilt, what's really cool about the system is that when you're taking the right shoulder underneath the chin or right shoulder down, you can see how this path is working here. So the path is now coming from under my right arm and through the ball, okay? So that's really cool to see. I'm gonna go ahead and hit a little shot right here. Okay. Go ahead, a little draw, a little drive here. So set up to it. All I'm gonna do is back here. I'm gonna feel the right shoulder go under the chin. Okay. And that ball definitely hooks to the left. It does not slice. All right, so that's important if you're gonna do that. And that will help you um, hit the ball. So again, most people, if you're slicing the ball, the shoulders are, are staying too level. Arms are coming in. So you want the shoulder, right shoulder to go down, rear shoulder to go down. So you can see it goes under my chin. Also, my head is, is back. My belt buckles forward. So there's the extension piece. And of course, we're turning as well. We're turning through the ball. Um, that was one of the things that people started asking me about was the, um, you know, when I was talking about all tilt, no turn, there is, yes, of course there's turn, but there's extension, tilt and turn. Most people start to turn too much this way without the extension or the tilt. So that's number one. That will be a huge, huge piece for you to hit the ball farther and with a little bit more of a draw. Okay. So the next piece here, the next, the second thing that we're going to look at here in the stack and tilt system is the back swing and how to get more, more distance using the extension piece in the back swing. So as I swing back, I see this a lot with the senior golfer. They're told they're staying down, they're down. And so what happens, they're flexed over. They haven't made a full turn. Their upper body's over their right foot. So what I like to do with that is I take their head and I push it up. Now, look at where the, I can let my left arm go around my body. If I'm flexed over, my left arm can only go so high. I can only get so much distance. So I'm going to let that orbit around my body. I'm going to let this extension piece go up. I'm going to feel like my, my right shoulder kind of opens up to the sky. And you can see where that club goes. Boom. So now my hands are going around my body okay so if you want to crush your driver you want to hit it super far i would suggest doing this and then what you do is you do it on the other side so you do it on both sides so you not only do it on the backswing you do it on the follow-through and so what that looks like if you want to do that here there we go so i'm going to feel extension extension 
and you can hit it really far and really high with probably a little bit of a draw. So that's really good. So that's what we want. So that's number two. So we're hitting the ball high. We're hitting the ball with some tilt and some extension. We've got some um, hand path around our body, a lot of hand path, a lot of distance for our club to travel. That's really, really good. And so that's what we're looking to do. Um, the next thing I would say for you to hit the ball super far, okay, super far, is the extension piece going through the ball. So what I like to do with people a lot of times is in stack and tilt in the system here, I like to feel them going forward and up and extending their arms. And so this is gonna be really, really good. So back here, forward and up, extending their arms. Forward and up, extending their arms. And you can see how my right arm goes across my body. Okay, so I'm gonna go back here a little bit. Okay. So you can see how I can create a lot of speed doing that. And that's gonna help you tremendously. Too many people, again, you know, we were talking about the first part of the shoulder under, right under shoulder or shoulder under the chin, right, um, you know, over the right knee, okay? But we're gonna add the front piece to that all the way around, all right? That's super important again here, all the way through. And so you can really create some swing speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit another one. That way you can see this. So here we go. So we're gonna combine all three. We're gonna combine the extension piece on the on the back side and on the through side. We're gonna extend, we're gonna keep the right or the uh, the head uh, still, and so the the right shoulder can go underneath the, the chin. And we'll take that drive every day of the week. So um, again, these are the three ways that you can perfect your driver, hit bomb your driver, hit as far as you can, um, and, and be really consistent. You know, driver's huge, huge on the golf course. Super important for you to get the driver in play, to hit it high enough, to hit it far enough, to get enough distance for you to play the golf course. You know, distance is the rage, but you have to hit the ball solid. You have to keep it in play. That's very important. You just can't, you know, hit the ball everywhere. Um, and so this system, these three pieces that I showed you today can really help you with that. So again, my name is Jess Frank. I'm a PGA teaching professional down here at, in South Florida at Deer Creek Golf Club. And uh, please subscribe and turn on your notifications. That would be awesome to support the channel. Please comment. Let me know how you like the video. And uh, I'll be sure to get back to you again. I love the interaction and love the community that we're building. So thank you again. And we'll see you soon. Have a great day.